Now this isn't all in his mind, right? He's he's actually being beneficial right now, right? We're we're all seeing this. <laughs> yeah. Hello everybody, welcome to another anime reaction here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. It is AVR Squared, and we are here with our very, very sad Doctor Doctor Stone season three, episode eleven, final episode of the first core reaction. Uh, I'm Kyle. This is Christine. That's Brian, uh, hit the subscribe button on this channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very, very much. Uh, Brian's got a channel link in the description box down below. Pulp Mythos here on uh, here on YouTube. Uh, LRM Online. <clears throat> LRMonline.com. Every day for all your entertainment news, needs, opinions. We're going to be at Anime Expo, guys, July 3rd, uh, 10 a.m., room 402 as of right now. So if you're going to be there, keep an eye out for us. We're going to be doing a panel uh, talking, well, anime, duh. Uh, yes. But uh, uh, lots of fun stuff going on. And uh, we plan on bringing some goodies. So if you're going to be there, you're going to want to try to uh, track us down appropriately. <laughs> we will, we will, of course, be uh, posting stuff on our uh, social media and from uh, social media, which you guys can see uh, that on the screen in front of you. And uh, uh, join our Discord because, yeah, that'll be a real quick, easy way to be like, hey, where are you guys? I want free thing, and we'll be like, we're over here. So, yeah, Christine. Yes. How are you feeling not knowing what we're going to see and that we don't know when the next core is coming? Upset. <laughs> I mean, I want to watch it, but if I watch it, then it's over for now. So yeah. it kind of sucks. Brian, how are you feeling going into this last ep episode for this first core? 23 minutes isn't long enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since we don't know when it's coming back, man. Like, we know it's not summer. Yeah. <laughs> and there, there hasn't been anything for, for fall that I've seen. Maybe winter? I don't know. But unfortunately, we have no choice but to watch it now. So let's do that. Cool. There it is. There it is. Does it have subtitles? That's what... That's the ultimate question. Yes. Can you turn it down, please? I will. Is that good for you, Brian? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn right it was. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, but you don't know which one it is. <laughs> it's like when when does she get caught? Because we know she's got to yeah. get caught, right? That's just that's just the way it, it goes for these types yeah. of stories. Gotta <sighs> add in the drama. We'll enjoy it all this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it it had a it had a uh, a bit of a rocky start, and I don't mean like rocky as in bad, just kind of rocky as in pacing to where there were there were there were times where you're like, I love this stuff, but my God, we've got to go. Okay. And and uh but once you get to the island you know, things have been a lot more, uh, consistent. Um, it's been an, a, a very enjoyable first core. Um, I still think, you know, like, uh, that first core of, of season one was phenomenal, you know, through the, through the tournament arc. Uh, I think that was, that was great. Um, and then the, the stone wars was just incredible, incredibly well put together. Brian, what, what do you think has been like your, your favorite arc or what probably whatnot. stone wars um like you said this one there were probably two or three episodes where you know you were excited oh what are we gonna do and it was very you know we're growing stuff yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like okay that's cool <laughs> and it was entertaining but uh, mm -hmm. like you said we just kept we need that conflict what's coming you know yep yep what about uh, you, Christine? Just what's been your fa favorite arc? I don't really have a favorite because each one of them, you know, has a little something special mm. to, to bring in, you know. So, yeah, I can't pick a favorite. They're all awesome. So I I love the Stone Wars. I, like I said, I think it's one of the best put together. But, man, that, that first season just had such a such a great way of of doing it you have you have the rush to the to the medicine and then the rush to the to the cell phone and both of those are just wonderfully uh wonderfully done and i hope that this season feels the same when it when it finishes
Hopefully it's not loud. I know, right? What is it in Kingston? It's a good point. Mm hmm. That'll be too loud this time. Mm hmm. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> such a thing. I mean, there's, there's different types of explosions. Yes. And if you make the proper cutting charge, uh, you think of using like a debt cord to cut a tree. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm I'm talking about. Um, if you you can mask that fairly easily, and a cutting charge against primitive concrete would probably get through it relatively easy, but um, still wouldn't yeah you know, be super quiet. And you would have to cover up the sound uh -huh. somehow. But yeah, there there are there are explosives that are less noticeable. He might be talking about using like air pressure or something. Mm. These are cutting charges. Oh, no, no, okay. <laughs> he's a, uh, he's a, uh, uh, he's bringing on his inner darkness right there. Mm, yeah. <laughs> And and we don't mean like uh dark tendencies, guys. <laughs> it'll cause it'll cause monsters to attack you endlessly. Give it to me. <laughs> or no, she says, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> you did get to see that that OVA though. Brian, for those that don't know, Brian did watch five episodes of Konosuba. Yeah. Uh and in, and relatively enjoyed it. There's this cursed item in a, in a magic shop, and one of them will cause you know monsters to basically seek you out and just constantly attack you. And of course, darkness wants it. Yeah. God. Does this not remind you of the Transformers movie music, Brian? The way it kind of starts out with that. Hold on, let's listen again. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, got to do this. Listen to the rap music again. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch me gyrate. <laughs> Man, it really does not take a lot of effort to get them. Dance, Ginro. <laughs> mm. Shake that bony ass boy. <laughs> Oh my what, god. What are you doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. You're right. You're a gorilla. <laughs> but Ginro can do spear moves. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now this isn't all in his mind, right? He's he's actually being beneficial right now, right? We're we're all seeing this. <laughs> yeah. He's been marking up the wood floor for a while, though. Mm-hmm. 
Jeez. Like expanding foam type stuff to push it, like I said. Yeah, expansion. <laughs> Solid theory. <laughs> mm. I hope you didn't either. I was gonna, I, that was my whole thing with the drone was just too much precision needed. I'm sure, to figure something out. It makes sense that they would uh, crush like the electronics and stuff, and and leave all the raw materials. Is what I'm guessing is in that in that sand. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like crushed up stuff, and he can <laughs> sift through it and. Um, you know, extract what he needs. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> you needed more. You got it. Wow.
Jeez. <clears throat> I see that they uh they adapted some um shots here from the uh Byakuya uh manga which isn't canon it, it dealt with something completely uh different but this uh uh some of this I saw in that manga some of the scenes and mm. kind of angles and uh same mentality No one's volunteered to help you? Maybe sometimes. Maybe. So his last. Yep, they really did find a way to kind of change that manga up into something more canon. I like that. Touching. Nice. Nice. Why is it sad he's died? We He's been dead for thousands of years. I know, but we <laughs> were watching it. Look how much he got. Wow. Papa. <laughs> No, he is his dad. He's just not his father, which is completely fine. Mm -hmm. It's better to be a dad anyways. It's great if you can be both, but be a be a dad. Time to wake up Kasaki and build a drone. <laughs> Time for the next core. Damn it. I know, it. right? Damn it. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> that felt like an end, end build up. I'm sure it's coming soon, though. <clears throat> Guess we gotta have our cliffhanger. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. They're finding more stuff. just science <laughs> gotta glue my boy chrome back together mm-hmm now they're going to have cracks. No, well, at least Chrome should because he broke. The others might, might not. Not enough time for weathering to happen. Yeah. Ah, 
Gosh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah. Damn it. That was good. Damn it. <laughs> ah. Now I'm bummed. Yeah, me too. God, I, I hope this is a fall. I hope it's a fall. Please fall. <laughs> God, it is so good. Ah, uh, Brian, thoughts? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Um, Everything's set up. I still, you know, like I brought up several episodes ago, the prisoners they brought. Mm -hmm. I know that's going to be a big reveal. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm excited. Christine? I don't know if I have anything to add to that because I was thinking the exact same thing. Um, I don't know. I'd leave I them in. I Personally, I would leave them in stone. They're easier to deal with. There, you've got the revival fluid. You can, yeah. you can use but they, it. But they're if probably going to need think, them for yeah, something. Yeah, I think that's where it's going to go. Yeah. Oh they're yeah, I'm sure. Want them. I'm, I'm sure. But I'm saying, like, I would leave, and then I would keep the, the petrification beam, <laughs> not just to, to freeze <laughs> Sukasa, but I'd freeze their asses back once I was done. You mm -hmm. cannot, you cannot trust, you cannot trust those two. Although this is an, this is an anime, uh, uh. Railgun tried to redeem uh, Accelerator, so I, I it's not above them to want to to try to redeem Hyoga. Um, Homura, she's just guilty of. On the surface, it appears she's just guilty of going along with the dude she's she's got it for. On the surface, it could be more. She could be tr truly evil. Uh, she could just be an impressionable youth. Um, on the surface, it kind of looks like that impressionable youth aspect um but yoga man that guy's just awful yeah no screw him uh love it guys what'd you guys think of a uh, uh new world first core or if the second core is gonna have a, a different name that's that's fine too uh but season three the the first core of season three let us know what you thought there is a browser window there it is sorry uh i want to see what it says at the very uh, whoops, not the browser. Watch. The kingdom of science strikes back. When? <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Cool. Yes! 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 <laughs> Sorry, that just, that, that made my day, guys. I genuinely yeah. didn't know. <laughs> that that made my day. We don't look stuff yeah. up so we don't get spoiled. <laughs> we rely on our wonderful audience to uh enlighten us for for uh changes and things like that cuz honestly uh it, it the, the the spoiler dangers are are that big out there. So I mm. do appreciate every everyone that has yeah. ever given us any insight on what's going on with a, a particular uh, project uh, like near automata or re release dates, anything like that, anything that helps keep us from uh, getting spoiled. I do really, truly appreciate that. I hope you guys don't think we're just lazy or ignorant. It is an active choice Yeah. <laughs> for, for your entertainment, our protection. <laughs> yes. So yeah. Uh, well, we will be here for that in October uh, for sure. Thank God it doesn't have to, uh, go up against something like Mushoku Tensei though. <laughs> that, yeah. That would that would have been rough. Uh <laughs> so anyways, guys. Um I'm kind of, you know, uh happy, sad, very, very stoked, uh, because October's not that far away, but damn it, I'm getting tired of looking forward to time uh passing. <laughs> I know. I was thinking the exact same thing because it's just like I, I just spend all my time like I can't wait till this happens. I can't mm -hmm. wait till this happens. And it's yeah yeah all right uh any final thoughts on on this first core we will review the whole season uh especially now since we know it's going to be a fall one we'll review season three as a season uh towards the end but uh any other last thoughts on it guys brian no, no? all right you guys can find all of our podcasts like the daily cup of genre breaking geek radio look for their uh flash review this weekend uh um here on the genreverse uh youtube channel and the podcast network on all your favorite podcast apps the uh anime reactions are of course here as well lots of great content for you guys and more to uh come lrmonline.com for all your entertainment news needs and uh uh opinions uh brian has a youtube channel tell them about that brian a pulp mythos on youtube uh, go over there give me a subscribe check out some of the content 
And of course, uh, again, guys, we're going to be at uh, Anime Expo. Uh, um, did I say the website stuff? Yes. LRMonline.com. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to be at 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 uh, Anime Expo again on on July third. Uh, we're going to be there for more uh, uh, for uh, more days than just that. But our our panel is that day. Uh, like I said, follow uh, um, at that com alone on Twitter at Adorable Doom on Twitter and uh, at AVR on gv on twitter and join our discord in the description box down below easiest way for you guys to keep tabs on everything that we're uh going to be doing out there uh really do appreciate all you guys' support and uh if you're not watching any of our other videos shame on you but we'll see you in october bye